I'm Brigham Larson with Brigham Larson Pianos. We just finished up this super cool, this is the second one that we've done. Last one was, we did was a couple years ago, Louis Zwicky, made in Denmark. And uh, these pianos are so cool, so unique. I actually had a guy that saw my video from a couple years ago and he said, I need that piano, that's perfect. And I ended up finding one in Denmark because I couldn't find these anywhere. I found one in Denmark, that's not this one and it's now in the process of being shipped here because I think in Denmark they're fairly plentiful, but in the United States they're here, but the cheapest I've seen them is like eight or nine or ten thousand dollars, like crazy expensive. Um, but uh, anyway, they're just that cool. They're just that desirable. This one just came uh, from California. This guy contacted me and, and wanted, wanted us to redo some work uh, re redo the piano and, and refinish it, refurbish the guts, and just coincidentally, like as I'm kind of finishing up the process of, of importing this other one from Denmark. So, so I guess this is the second one that we've had here at the shop and the third one that I've dealt with, though I've never actually seen or touched that one in Denmark that I'm working with a piano technician in Denmark to get it here. Okay, so super cool piano. For a number of reasons, I hope it, it is just totally obvious why it's so cool. I mean, cosmetically, the, the piano is like just so unique with, with these design curves and, and the, just the overall like design features. It just looks awesome. And they're super, super small, obviously. And they actually sound pretty good, like surprisingly good. Usually pianos this size don't sound great, like the engineering just doesn't quite work out very well, and so they sound kind of cheap and tinny and all of that, but I don't know. The, apparently the, this Danish company has some special secret, kind of similar to Baldwin Acrosonics, which are also very, very small, but sound amazing. I don't know what magic they do, but, uh, but super cool. So we refinished the piano, and as you can see, it looks gorgeous. I don't see a single flaw on it anywhere. And check out the back of the piano too. I think the, even the back is beautiful. I think it takes a nerdy piano technician like me to appreciate the back, how beautiful that is, but there you have it. And then we also refinished this little tiny stool. I guess that it kind of matches the stature of this little piano. We didn't do anything, of course, to the, to the upholstery, but, but the wood, that's what we do. We, do. we don't do upholstery, but we did do the wood. We finished that to match. And then on the guts, we didn't, we didn't do a full uh, rebuild, but we did a full refurbish. That's what we were, um, what, I guess, contracted to do, and it doesn't need to be fully rebuilt anyway. It's, it was already in pretty decent condition, just, just needed things like cleaning and lubrication and alignment and regulation and the hammers needed to be reshaped and lots of repinning on the hammers and things like leveling the keys and, and aligning the hammers to the strings and ensuring that the blow distance is correct and the, the damper timing is correct and the, and the uh, let off distance is correct and the dip is correct and the keys are are all in correct level of the sharps and the whites in relation to each other. a lot of sound for such a little piano and some other kind of cool little features about this piano is uh, is it has this little kind of music cute well-designed music desk a little dusty still so if we need to find the refinishing 
I like how that's designed. And I just, of course, we've polished all of that up, make it look nice. And it just kind of turns like that. And and this is really interesting the way the the way the pin block is drilled, drilled in straight down like a grand piano. Most uprights, these tuning pins are horizontal as opposed to vertical in orientation. So that's kind of unique. Again, that probably doesn't mean much to most people, but I mean, that's really unique. And there's kind of a rounded, the, the plate here is, is uh, rounded so that, so that there's not a sharp corner that these strings are going across. And the other kind of interesting thing, I think this plate is, I think it's aluminum which also is super unusual. Makes for a very, very light piano. So hats off to the Danish. Way to go. Like your piano a lot. Cool little piano. Pleasure to work on.